Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're starting off uh, this next episode uh, with me still actually in <clears throat> the cave, but I'm ready to go back up topside now. Uh, so I just wanted to show you kind of where we ended up with, <clears throat> ended up at, rather. Uh, and also I have some footage for uh, the last run that I did that I did not uh, fully uh, record. So here's the footage for that first. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so um, what we ended up with is, let's grab this stuff here. Uh, we brought that down with us. So basically, this is what we ended up with. I, I don't know how many nines I brought down uh, with us, but that probably broke even more or less. Uh, we're coming back with seven incendiary rounds, but we did bring roughly that much down with us too. Plus, I shot up all my normal rifle rounds, so that's probably uh, a break even. But we do have two... Magnum rounds, 10 shotgun shells, and 6 slugs, 2 molotovs, this metal ingot, all these ores that you see here, including 49 crystal and 23 phosphate, which we can use for more incendiary rounds. Uh, some weapon parts and plates, 77 coal, uh, adhesives, 3 ropes, 9 gears, 3 cotton seeds, and than uh, what you see here too, okay? Uh, plus, uh, I got quite a few more ignition or fire starting kits off of the hunters that we killed so let's grab this ash and we'll just top this off let it burn all the way out and generate some more ash for us for later this is what i'm keeping down here um so we got nails and wood and four antidotes uh, carbs we still got 52 of the protein bars a hammer for repairs in case the hunters attack this structure we got two full picks and then of course our six canteens of water which we are keeping down here all right, so all of this is coming back up to the surface with us as well, including our diving gear. And yeah, so um, the one concern I have is that, you know, we, our base was attacked several times while we were down here. And <laughs> I don't know what kind of shape it's going to be in, uh, but we're going to find out, you know, when we get back up topside. So let me see here. Um, I'm going <clears> to <throat> let's move this over to here, that to there. I'm just trying to think what else we could put on our toolbar. Um, I don't want to put any picks on the toolbar. I don't want to put the Molotovs there in case I accidentally throw them, so I guess we'll put the coal down there. Okay, so we'll, uh, you know, we're, we're on our way out, of course, uh, of the cave, but we will continue to grab uh, any resources we can find along the journey, and we'll probably have to, uh, we might have to fight some hunters on the way out, too. We'll see how that goes. Uh, there's a, a hunter camp way over there, but we might be able to avoid that. 
uh, we're just going to kind of keep to the right here to get out of here. And yeah, my con <clears throat> my concern is, you know, what kind of shape our base is in because it took several attacks while we were gone without me repairing it. So yeah, uh, we'll have to see about that. But, you know, I was down here for a very, very long time. I probably, you know, now that we are supplied down here and we're all set up, I probably won't stay down here as long as we did stay down here in future runs. And, you know, whether or not it's actually worth it, um, I'd say probably. I mean, it's fun, and that's important, of course. It's fun to do, so that's a good reason in and of itself. It's some really fun in-game content, you know, here in Subsistence, but... Um, it's, so far it hasn't been like I've hit the lottery though either, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, alright, so let's get up here. We could try for that crystal. It's kind of close to the hunters, but I think we can get to it without attracting their attention if we stay, stay low here. But we're not going to go any further up the cave than this, because I don't want to engage those guys if I don't have to. It's just not worth it. Not worth it to kill the hunters in here at all. Okay, we got a, a bat. <clears throat> um, okay, we're gonna kill him and turn these into bandages, but I'm not gonna grab that meat. Well, actually, I guess we could grab it, and if it goes bad before we get back home, it goes bad. Not a big deal. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me, we need to come through here to get out of this cave. And uh, if we're lucky, like I said, we'll be able to bypass the other hunters and get all the way on out. But if not, then we'll kill them. Uh, so, we're, we ourselves are in pretty good shape. I did lose one point in health cap for that whole time I was down there, but we'll easily fix that by eating a chicken dinner or something when we get home. So, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we went through a lot of bandages. Oh, oh, by the way, I did get a couple of... Uh, I did get a couple of health packs while we were down here, too. So, I just want to look and see. I don't see any hunters in the immediate area. Um, but I had to use a couple, too. So, I didn't record all of the hunter fights. I recorded a couple of them, but... After a while, it's kind of the same thing. They don't drop anything really worth writing home to mother about. <clears throat> and uh, so, yeah, I didn't record all of them. Yeah, let's grab this. We probably should expect another bat attack before we get all the way out of here. Uh, just kind of looking around. Okay, let's go take a peek over here. There's another crystal that I want to grab. We might as well, right? Get as many resources out of here as we can. Crystal and coal. <coughs> I decided not to leave the coal down here because I can use it in the overworld. And it's, it's abundant down here. So I did leave the wood. Mostly because, uh, you know, we'll need it to repair and can use it at least initially to start the fire if necessary. But I don't know, I might even start bringing most of that back with me too. All the wood that I got down here was from the hunter drops, by the way, not from harvesting because there's nothing to harvest down here. We either don't have any hunters or they're going to be right by the damn entrance. We're going to find out here in just a moment. those. Let's go over around this way. All right, so far so good. There's some more coal. There's some more coal over there. Yeah, I just hope the base isn't, like, completely demolished <laughs> when we get out. I don't think it'll be completely demolished, but we may have quite a bit of re- Oh, shit. Uh, quite a bit of repairing to do. Son of a bitch. Um, all right. I'd kind of like to keep those for 
the mass generator, so we're not going to mine anything else. But I mean, we're you work walking out here with 62 crystal and 100 coal. Yeah, so we're we did good. We did really good. So we'll just leave the rest of it for next time. All right, I don't see any hunters. I think we're good, man. Too bad we couldn't grab the rest of that coal, but it's okay. Oh, no, the hunters are right there. You know what, though? I think we can avoid them. Let's just get the hell out of here. We're going to put this on. I seriously doubt they would follow us down here. I mean, they don't have scuba gear, so we should be good. All right, well, um, I will meet you guys back at the base. And hopefully, we, hopefully it's not, like, completely torn apart, but we will see when we get there. Okay, we are at the base, and I don't see any completely destroyed uh, panels on our front wall, but we got a stupid bear right here. Let's see if we can... See, the problem is he'll attack the <clears throat> base himself, and I don't want him to do that, of course. So let's run, see if we can go around this way. And, of course, it's nighttime, so very dark. Sorry about that. Got some copper up here. Oh shit. Level one something else. Yep. I don't have my normal weaponry with me, so I'd rather not fight these damn animals. So he's right at our back door. Nice. Alright. Let's um Let's see if we can draw him off. We are a little chilly, too. Uh, by the way, it is October, and the moose are now in the rut. Okay, now let's just kind of circle around this way, and hopefully we don't run into any more critters. another one down that way but okay so uh, no completely destroyed walls there let's see check this side and no completely destroyed walls there nice okay I'm sure we have a lot of repairing to do <clears throat> but no replacing to do Okay, we made it home. Whew, what a run. What a run that was, man. Okay, so first thing we got to do is get our stoves going. So let's use a couple of uh, fuel logs. And we'll throw that meat in there. Let me look at my chickens. Uh, they are almost out of water and they're completely out of food. <clears throat> okay, let's... Uh, Get them some water. Just to kind of tide them over until we can get in some food. Um, here, take a, take one of those. Okay. And uh, let's grab <clears throat> some more blueberries here. I'll put a couple things away real quick so I have some room. very low on blueberries now so we'll give you four and you the other three since you had the mushrooms okay that should keep them okay for the time being um how are we doing on power and all that oh we're good okay we're really good so we're gonna put uh, this and that in there And, um, bu 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 okay, let's go here and start dropping some stuff off. Oh, whoop, nope, I'm doing this the wrong way, wrong way around here. Oh, uh, you guys go in here. So we'll put the rope there. Uh, actually, let's put the rope next to the, um, sinew. And, uh, and we got <clears throat> an ingot out of the deal. So, I mean, it wasn't the best run in the world. 
Could have been better, but it wasn't terrible either. It wasn't terrible either. Okay, so weapons parts, bullets. Bears. That can go in there. I'm just listening for what that bear is doing. Okay, put this here. Uh, all of our diving gear uh, can go back in here. Uh, Molotovs actually should go here because that's this is kind of my ammo crate. Uh, all right, so we got 20 shotgun shells. That's awesome. And 23 magnums. Split that in half. Uh, we want to get our arrows back in our inventory. Um, these we'll hang on to for, I don't know, special case uses. Maybe moose hunting or something. Uh, but it was nice to get six of them because those are pretty expensive items. Uh, what I need to do, though, is I need to get out and get repairing before we get another attack. So let's eat a chicken. And that should get our cap back up to 25, which it did. Okay. Love that food, man. That's some good stuff. And that will just put in the, the thing. Let's grab all of the fat out of here and top off our jennies. I'm going to turn this one on, and we're going to re-zoom these guys. Put all the coal in here. That can go in there too. And then we have uh, a bunch of ore. So let's get going on the crystal and the phosphate. And uh, what are we the lowest on right now? Looks like iron. So I don't actually have any iron at the moment. So we'll just do some zinc for now. Okay, let's put this in here. I'm going to need to make some more canteens. Uh, because we took six down to the, to the cave and left them there. Alright, I guess we're just going to use incendiary rounds for hunters for now, which is fine. That's actually something I would normally do anyway. But we are going to need to make some more arrows. But before we mess with any of that... Let's grab some wood. Oh, I don't have any planks on me because uh, I took them all down below. Shit. Okay. Um, let's get the hammer. Uh, I think we need to make a hammer too. Okay. Uh, what do we need to make for that? We need hide boards and that. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to go cut some wood <clears throat> and make planks to repair the metal. And hopefully we don't get attacked before then. Uh, we'll keep our climbing axes there. We don't need to keep those with us all the time. Uh, we need to make another pick, too. Um, so that's going to require even more boards. So it <clears throat> we'll hold off on the pick. That's not the highest priority right at the moment. Uh, but we do need a hammer, so let's make that right now. Put this back in here for the moment, and we'll go repair what we can with the wood that we have, and then we'll have to go cut some more. In fact, here, let's do this. Let's just chop the trees that are right in the yard. <coughs> yeah, this foundation's pretty banged up. So as long as we can get everything repaired before they attack again so we don't lose something that will be good but yeah I was down there for probably a little longer than I should have been I'm thinking maybe the next time I do that uh, two runs is probably as long as we should stay down there oh we need to do one more thing we need to get our normal layout back on our toolbar and our weapons and stuff okay so we want you to go there you go there uh, shotgun goes in three you go there and uh, we should have all of our ammo so yeah we're good to go there okay let's go do some more repairing I hit this tree, can't remember. 
Yep, I did. I don't want that stupid bear attacking, man. We don't need even more damage right now. Okay, let's just assess the metal. Doesn't actually look like it's in too bad a shape, at least not on this side. This one's... Yeah, even that one's not terrible. It's cracked a little bit, but... Not anywhere near ready to break. Okay, so I think we can hold off on this side for a little bit. Let's hit let's hit tap this one a couple of times though. Do I have any planks at all? Uh-uh. Okay. Yeah, I I think we can let this side go. Let's go get this other side because that one foundation was very badly damaged, or at least it appeared to be. Um, <clears throat> and then I just have to cut some more wood to make the planks. Yeah, so this foundation, well, I mean, it's, it's around halfway down, which is still not good. Let's tap that. That's actually fine. This one needs a couple taps. This one needs several taps. That one needs some taps. And this one. Okay. All right, this side's actually pretty well repaired. Um, now, what about this side? The foundations actually don't look so bad here. Yeah, this, this side didn't really take any hits to speak of at all. Okay, that's good. That's very good. All right, what I need to do then is I need to cut a bunch of wood and make planks so we can get the other side uh, fixed up. So let me do that, and then I will bring you guys back afterwards, and we'll figure out what our next move is. All right, guys. I got uh, all the repairs done. Um, so we're going to come up and harvest the garden and get that switched around. Got a bunch of cotton seeds that we got down in the lava cave, so we're going to plant those. We'll have to figure out which of our vegetables here we have the most of to see how to uh, evenly divvy that up. So we'll grab all of these first. And uh, I've, I'm like for all intents and purposes out of wood. So not good. Um, so I'm going to have to go spend some time cutting some wood. Uh, it's not a problem for the fire because we have all the coal that we brought back, but it is going to be uh, an issue for the wood. Okay. Let's just hit each one of you with two waters, and then we'll have to bring some fertilizer up later. All right, that gets you to 100%, 100%, 100%, 100% and 89%. So we'll hit you again. I'm have going to have to do a water run, and I have to make six new canteens to replace the ones that we uh, used up last time. Uh, nope, that doesn't go in there. It's all going here. Okay, so we'll put the cotton in here. We've got 100, 100 cotton, which is great. And then load up the veg edibles in here and see what we have the most of. Okay, so we have a pretty even amount of carrots, onions, and potatoes. Um, tomatoes are really low, and that's just because I took all of my tomatoes down to the cave. So why don't we put two, uh, we'll put two in the onions and two in the carrots. Okay, so let's split this in half. Uh, I don't have any tomato seeds, right? No. Okay. And then we'll turn this all into seed. We want to, we're going to put, we need six of these. So let's, um extract five seed and then uh, one more okay and then we'll also put two cotton seeds with the onions uh, potatoes we'll go ahead and do a full plot of we want eight of those and then carrots we also want to leave two slots okay so that should get us where we need to go with that uh, let's put this water back in here for the moment we don't have <clears throat> any fertilizer we have ash but I want to use this fertilizer 
Oh, these guys are out of food again, darn it. Oh, what can I give them? Let's give them... Let's give them a tomato a pop. That'll give them a lot of, a lot of food, actually. At least until I can do something a little bit better for them. Okay, we'll go back up, get this all replanted, and then after that, I gotta go get some wood. Just gotta make it happen. Okay, so these are, this is all just potatoes here. These are two cottons and uh, the rest carrots. These are two cottons and the rest onions. And then these are maters. Okay, let's split this four ways. Get all that fertilizer going. And, um, oh, we need to turn the lights on. I didn't realize they were off. They've probably been off for quite some time. I normally just keep them on all the time anymore. All right, so crops are rotated. We're good to go there. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go out on a loot run. Uh, but we're also going to be grabbing wood, too, because we just have to. We are as low on wood, I think, as we've ever been. Okay, let's check our, our power. So we got 147 in, 108 out, so we're good to go there. Except for we do want to get you going. Let's split you in half. And we'll put all of this stuff away. So we got 69, actually 72 phosphate to make some more incendiary rounds later on. But we also have uh, seven on us right now, too. We need to get our pistol repaired. Uh, so that's going to... Oh, shit, that requires boards, doesn't it? Yep, three boards. Okay, we can't even do that. That's why we got to get wood. <laughs> What is like so integral to everything you do in this game. Um, so yeah, we'll let that run and then, you know, this will eventually f stop and then we'll get more power back from that. Uh, let's top off the stoves with our coal. We also need to find new chickens too while we're out and about to uh, recycle the ones we have. Okay, for here we're going to do a tomato stew and a steak and eggs to get our food back up. Let's take one drink of water, and the, oh man, we need a pick too, but I can't make a pick without wood. So yeah, we gotta we gotta get wood. Let's run to the birchwood forest for this little wood run, because that's a good place to get wood. Plus, I just hear something growling. Look at you. Um, the birchwood forest is also a really good place for locked crates. Uh, I'm really low on, on arrows, too, which we also need wood for. All right, where'd that wolf go? It's right there. So, while we're out and about getting wood and stuff, let's talk about the future of Season 1 here in Sub... Assistance. I just about said Subnautica. <laughs> no, different game. Um, so guys, we've pretty much done everything there is to do in this game. Um, I haven't, you know, I haven't found those advanced weapon parts, and I'm not sure where I, where I would even find them. Um, you know, because we've done several loot runs already of the lava cave. We've done five in total, I think, five complete runs. Maybe four, four or five, and I have not found those advanced weapon parts, you know, in the um, in those crates. So I I have no idea where you get them. We've raided Charlie multiple times, and they've never dropped it, or the none of the other hunters for that matter. Uh, you know what we really need to do? We need to go back and get this stuff so we can make a pick. So let's turn all of this wood we got so far into boards, and I'm going to run back and grab the other parts because <clears throat> there's a, a thing of iron there, and I don't want to be passing up any ore, but especially not iron ore. All right, so yeah, let's run back and get this stuff. So anyway, um, I've never been super happy with this, this location. 
Uh, the biggest pain in the ass about it is the water. Uh, the other thing that's kind of a pain in the ass about it is I really have four, if you count that, though I, do, I rarely have to go down there, four different areas that I have to keep repaired. So just got a bunch of running around there. Um, but it's mostly just, you know, no water nearby that's the biggest issue with this location. And so I want to... Um, there's a couple locations that I'm thinking about uh, building at in our Season 2. Uh, I guess I need that, don't I? There we go. That's enough to make one pick. That'll do for now. <clears throat> and I think... I know which of those places I'm actually going to use. We're just going to burn that meat. While we're here, let's just re-top these guys off. And I talked about... Um, let's just do a little bit of topping off here. Uh, we'll grab a couple carrots to eat, too. Um, <clears throat> I talked about those two spots a long time ago. Uh, at the end of the first year, we're, we're coming on the third year, you guys. Isn't that crazy? Of season one. Um, we're coming on the third year. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I've played this game so much, but enjoyed it so much in the process. Um, anyway, um, at the end of the first year, I talked about a couple of new locations that I was thinking about. Because I at that time I, I didn't know I was gonna continue season one. I thought we were probably gonna wrap it up and start a season two. But then you know I figured well let's just keep going and well here we are like two two more years almost two more years later. So um, anyway I've got a couple places in mind for season two, and I think we're gonna wrap up this season mostly. And what I mean by mostly is I think I'm going to stop um, recording regular videos of this save, but I think I'm going to keep playing it myself uh, for a while. Oh, shit, there's hunters. Uh, for a while longer. And then maybe just release periodic update videos like, hey, here's here's where we are now in our uh, end of the end game, like the way end game. Uh, just so you can kind of see, you know, how things are still coming along. Because there's some stuff I'd still kind of like to do. But I, th I think in terms of, you know, videos and series on the channel, uh, it's probably time for us to go ahead and start. I'm supposed to be cutting wood while I'm yabbing here. Um, I think it's time for us to, to wrap up this series officially and start a season two. Um, so this is probably going to be our last official video of season one today uh what we're doing right here and now and then as far as season two goes i want to i'm going to consider hardcore uh just because i you know i like that kind of challenge but i don't know yet i i got to think about that some more because what i don't like is i don't like working really really hard to advance and you have to work constantly work your ass off in this game to advance as you all know and you know I don't want to spend say like three weeks of real lifetime getting to a certain point and then die and have it all be over so I don't think I would enjoy that but I what I understand from what I do understand about hardcore mode is there is Supposedly, there's a way that you can buy more lives, but I'm not exactly sure how that works or how expensive it is to do that and that sort of thing. So anyway, I'm going to consider that. But if you know, if I decide not to do that, then of course we'll just do an another normal difficulty playthrough with the hunters, you know, periodic attacks and that sort of thing. Um, and I want to focus on season two. I want to focus more on on building a, a, a cool base. I mean, our base is actually pretty cool. It turned out okay. But part of the, I guess what you might call theme of Season 2, what I have planned, is going to be the location that we're going to build in and the scenery. And I really want to not necessarily make a ginormous base, but just a really nice scenic 
uh, picturesque base, if you will. Um, so that's kind of what I have in mind for Season 2. So Season 1 for me has been, you know, learning the game, of course, just discovering the game and all it has to offer. And now that I know pretty much everything it has to offer and how everything now works, uh, I want to kind of transition to a little bit different MO, uh, more of a building-focused MO. But, you know, we're still going to have to do everything to get everything to work. So it's not, I'm not saying we won't do combat, we will. We'll still have the hunters turned on and have them on normal mode and all that, if we don't do hardcore. Uh, but maybe more of a, a little bit more of a building focused uh, season and just kind of see how that goes. So anyway, yeah, that's, uh, I think that's where we're at, you guys. Um, I will continue, you know, like I said, I'm going to keep this safe going for an indeterminate amount of time. And I will, uh, I'll keep, you know, doing those cave runs. And I'm not going to show, uh, I'm not going to show, you know, do full videos on it. But maybe, you know, still do some extra videos or maybe not even that really. Uh, but just, like I said, periodic update videos. Hey, here's where we are on our first save. You know, I, I, I've got like 100 shotgun shells saved up now. Oh, shit. That chicken ran right into that. Oh, the pig. Okay, I thought that was a... Alright. He didn't survive that shot. We need we need a couple live chickens. You know, just kind of show you where I at. Because I still, you know, even after coming on three years of playing this game, do not have an abundance of uh, really anything, except for maybe nails. You know, uh, I do have plenty of nails. <laughs> which is good. Uh, but not ammo. You know, definitely not ammo. It's still, you know... We're not, we're not just barely getting by either. We're doing fine, but we're using most of the ammo that we're finding, and I just have not been able to get an abundance of it. We're, let's run this guy back right now since he's alive. He won't stay alive for very long. So anyway, I think that's it, guys. I think I'm going to officially say farewell to all of you for Season 1 of this playthrough. Let's go get this ore, because there's, especially since there are two of them. Um, my plan at present is to uh, continue playing this save, like I said, and I'll bring, I'll, I'll show you periodic update videos, but no longer gonna do regular videos on this save. And then uh, we will start a season two, uh, where we're gonna be a little more focused on building a really cool base. Again, not necessarily a large sprawling base, but just a really cool place to live. Um, and that will kind of be the focus of Season 2. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed not only this episode, but this entire series. I have just thoroughly enjoyed this game, as you know. And uh, really looking forward to continuing playing it, uh, both offline and in Season 2 for you guys. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it, too. So, uh, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, take a look at the join button on the YouTube channel if you're interested in a membership. Uh, a membership with the Old Guy Gaming community primarily allows you to play on our multiplayer servers with our awesome Old Guy Gaming community and with me a few times a week. And uh, and gives you another way to support the channel if you, if you feel so led to do so. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. Sorry our very last video is in the dark and in the rain and we can't see shit, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way this game goes sometimes, isn't it? All right, you guys. We will see you in Season 2. Bye-bye and take care.